Ever wondered why a compass, a simple yet ingenious device, might not always point you in the right direction? A compass, a nifty tool that has been around since ancient times, is known for its uncanny ability to always lead the way. It's a small, circular device, often pocket-sized, containing a magnetic needle that spins freely. This needle, when left to its own devices, has a persistent habit of pointing in one specific direction. That, my friends, is the beauty of Magnetic North. The idea of the compass is simple, yet it's the cornerstone of navigation. It's been a fundamental part of human exploration, guiding countless sailors across the vast, uncharted oceans, leading them to discover new lands and cultures. This tiny instrument has been a beacon of direction, a silent guide that whispers, this way to the north. The general assumption, the common belief, is that a compass always points north. And why wouldn't it? After all, it's the promise of the magnetic needle, the allure of the compass. It's the fundamental concept that has been etched into our minds. The compass needle, drawn by the Earth's magnetic field, aligns itself to point towards the magnetic north pole. It's consistent, it's reliable, it's what we've always known. But here's where things get a little interesting. You see, while the compass may be a steadfast guide in most parts of the world, it isn't infallible. There are certain places on this beautiful, diverse planet where the compass's promise of north may waver, where the needle might spin with uncertainty, where your trusty guide may lead you astray. But what if I told you that there are places on Earth where a compass won't work? Intriguing, isn't it? Before we delve into these strange locations, it's crucial to understand how a compass works. Now, don't be intimidated by the word science here. It's quite a straightforward concept. Let's begin. A compass is a simple instrument, but what it does is both fascinating and fundamental. It consists of a small, lightweight magnet, usually shaped like an arrow, balanced on a nearly frictionless pivot point. This magnet, also known as the compass needle, aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic field. Now here's where it gets interesting. Earth behaves like a gigantic magnet due to the activity in its molten iron core. While the Earth spins on its axis, the swirling motion of molten iron generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field extends out into space, creating a protective barrier around our planet, shielding us from harmful solar radiation. It's this magnetic field that the compass aligns itself with. But let's clear up a common misconception while we're at it. When we say north on a compass, we're not talking about the geographic North Pole, which is the topmost point of the Earth. Instead, we're referring to the magnetic north, which is the point where the Earth's magnetic field points vertically downwards. Now you might think these two norths are the same, but here's the catch, they're not. The magnetic north is currently located in the Arctic Ocean, north of Canada, and it's constantly on the move due to the fluid nature of Earth's outer core. This difference between the geographic north and the magnetic north is known as magnetic declination, and it's a vital factor in navigation. So, in a nutshell, a compass works by aligning its needle with the Earth's magnetic field, pointing us towards the magnetic north. It's an elegant piece of science and a testament to our planet's dynamic nature. Now that we grasp the science behind a compass, let's explore why it might not work in certain places. Imagine being in a place where your trusted compass starts behaving oddly. Welcome to the world of magnetic anomalies. Magnetic anomalies are fascinating phenomena that occur when the Earth's magnetic field is disturbed, causing irregularities in compass readings. These disturbances can be local, regional, or even global, and they're not always easy to predict or explain. But one thing is certain, they can have a profound impact on a compass's ability to point true north. Think of the Bermuda Triangle, a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, infamous for mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft. Legends and folklore often attribute these incidents to supernatural phenomena or alien activities. But in reality, one plausible explanation might be magnetic anomalies. In this area, compasses have been known to behave unpredictably, often leading to navigational errors. Some theories suggest that these anomalies might be due to fluctuating magnetic fields caused by underwater volcanic activities or deposits of magnetite, a naturally occurring magnetic mineral. 
Another fascinating example is the Magnetic Hill in Ladakh, India. This small stretch of road nestled in the Himalayan mountains is known for its strange ability to make vehicles appear to move uphill when they're actually rolling downhill. The illusion is so convincing that it's become a popular tourist attraction. Some believe that this phenomenon is due to a strong magnetic field in the area, causing compasses and other navigational tools to malfunction. However, scientists argue that it's more likely a result of an optical illusion created by the surrounding landscape. It's not just these famous locations though. Magnetic anomalies can occur anywhere. And they're not always caused by natural phenomena. Man-made structures such as steel bridges, buildings, and even cars can also cause local magnetic disturbances, affecting compass readings. These anomalies can be a real headache for navigators, explorers, and anyone else who relies on a compass for direction. They can lead you off course, send you in circles, or even put you in danger. But they also offer a unique insight into the Earth's magnetic field and its constant state of flux. Understanding these anomalies is not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about understanding our planet, its magnetic field, and how it affects everything from navigation to wildlife behavior. It's about exploring the unknown, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and unraveling the mysteries of the world around us. So these anomalies can make your compass go haywire. But there's more to this magnetic mystery. What if I told you that the North Pole isn't the true north for your compass? Now let's delve into the mystery of the magnetic poles. You see, the Earth has two types of North Poles, the geographic and the magnetic. The geographic North Pole, as the name suggests, is the northernmost point on Earth, where all longitudinal lines meet. It's the top of the world, where Santa supposedly lives. However, your compass doesn't point towards this geographic North. Instead, it aligns itself with the magnetic North Pole. This is because a compass works by aligning itself with Earth's magnetic field, which is generated by molten iron swirling in the Earth's outer core. The magnetic North Pole is where this field comes out of the Earth, and it's not in the same location as the geographic North Pole. In fact, it's currently drifting from the Canadian Arctic towards Russia at a rate of about 34 miles per year. Now, you might be wondering, how does this affect the behavior of compasses near these poles? Well, the closer you get to the magnetic North Pole, the more your compass needle will try to point down towards the ground, rather than horizontally. This phenomenon is known as magnetic dip or inclination, and it's one of the reasons why compasses can behave erratically near the poles. Let's talk about the South Pole now. Similar to the North, there are two South Poles, the geographic and the magnetic. The geographic South Pole is the southernmost point on Earth, directly opposite the geographic North Pole. The magnetic South Pole, however, is where the Earth's magnetic field goes back into the Earth, and it's currently off the coast of Antarctica. Interestingly, the magnetic South Pole doesn't have the same magnetic dip issue as the North. This is because the magnetic field lines re-enter the Earth at a steeper angle in the South, causing compass needles to align more horizontally. But remember, the Earth's magnetic field isn't perfectly symmetrical. It has anomalies, or areas where the magnetic field is stronger or weaker. These anomalies can also cause your compass to behave strangely, either pulling the needle towards them or pushing it away. So, next time you're navigating with a compass, remember this. The North your compass points to isn't the North Pole you're thinking of. It's pointing towards the magnetic North Pole, a point that's constantly on the move. And if you're near the poles or a magnetic anomaly, your compass might not behave as you expect. These poles are the reason why your compass might not always point towards the North you're thinking of. But the mystery doesn't end there. Have you ever thought about the role of Earth's core in all this? Let's dive deep into the Earth's core, which is largely composed of iron. This iron core is the heart of our planet, and it plays a significant role in creating the magnetic field that envelops our world. The Earth's core is divided into two parts, the solid inner core and the liquid outer core. The outer core, filled with molten iron and nickel, churns and flows, creating electric currents. These electric currents generate a magnetic field invisible to our eyes but crucial for our survival. This magnetic field is what makes our compasses point north. 
But here's the catch. It's not as steady as you might think. The Earth's magnetic field is constantly changing. It's not just a simple bar magnet with a fixed north and south. The movement of the molten iron within the outer core creates fluctuations in the magnetic field. These fluctuations can, in turn, affect the accuracy of a compass. Imagine you're navigating with your trusty compass, confident that it's pointing the way to true north. But unbeknownst to you, there's a magnetic anomaly brewing in the Earth's core. This could cause your compass to deviate from its usual northward direction. It might be a subtle shift, barely noticeable, or it could be significant enough to lead you off course. So when you're venturing into the unknown, remember that your compass is subject to the whims of the Earth's core. It's not just the magnetic poles that can lead your compass astray, but also these unseen shifts in the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's core, with its churning iron and fluctuating magnetic field, is a fascinating piece of the compass puzzle. It's a reminder that our planet is a dynamic, ever-changing entity, and that even the tools we rely on for navigation are subject to its influence. The Earth's core, then, is another factor that can lead your compass astray. So, we've journeyed through magnetic anomalies, explored the poles, and dived into Earth's core. We've navigated the enigma of the compass, a device that usually points us north, but sometimes leads us astray. We've pinpointed several places on our beautiful blue planet where this humble instrument doesn't quite function as expected. Let's take a quick recap. We started by understanding that the compass relies on Earth's magnetic field to guide us. It's a simple concept with complex underpinnings. This magnetic field isn't uniform though, and that's where the trouble begins. We've talked about magnetic anomalies, areas where the magnetic field is significantly stronger or weaker than surrounding areas. These areas can cause a compass to behave erratically. The Bermuda Triangle, with its countless tales of mysterious disappearances, is one such place. Here, true north and magnetic north aren't quite in alignment, and that can confuse a compass. We then ventured to the magnetic poles, the north and south extremes of the Earth's magnetic field. Here, a compass needle can behave quite oddly. At the magnetic north pole, for instance, a compass would try to point straight down into the Earth, rather than horizontally. This is due to the inclination of the Earth's magnetic field lines. Our journey took us further into the Earth's core, the source of our planet's magnetic field. We learned how the churning of molten iron within the Earth creates a dynamo effect, generating the magnetic field that guides our compasses. However, the Earth's core isn't a uniform sphere of iron, and its movement isn't perfectly symmetrical. This results in variations in the magnetic field's strength and direction, causing what we call magnetic declination. This declination is the reason why magnetic north and true north aren't always the same, leading to potential confusion for those relying on a compass for navigation. So, how do we resolve this compass conundrum? Well, the truth is, the compass isn't flawed. Our understanding of it needs to evolve. We should remember that a compass doesn't point to the geographical North Pole, but to the magnetic North Pole. Understanding this distinction and the concept of magnetic declination can help us navigate more accurately. In areas with magnetic anomalies, it's advisable to use additional navigation methods alongside a compass. GPS technology, topographic maps, or even old-school celestial navigation can help ensure we stay on the right path. And there you have it, the curious case of compasses and their occasional defiance of our expectations. Remember, not all who wander are lost, but those relying solely on a compass might be.